What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Milo and I do travel and lifestyle vlogs. And in this opportunity, we're launching a brand new series in the channel called Destination Hotels, where we're going to feature different hotels and give you guys a complete guide on the property. The first one in the series is called Margaritaville Island Reserve Riviera Cancun, located in the Riviera Maya in Mexico. So stick around to find out everything about the hotel and experience it with us in this video. This is an all-inclusive resort in the Riviera Maya. It's about 20 to 30 minutes away from Cancun's International Airport, and it is a family-friendly resort. With that being said, the ambience and the overall theme of the resort is pretty chill, pretty laid back. And as you can see, it kind of reminds me a little bit of Greece because of the colors and the tones on the buildings. White with that teal, light bluish color. It is beautiful and super photogenic. This is the side or, or the part of the resort that I like the most and it's just beautiful. The contrast of the pool water with the buildings, the colors, it's awesome. It makes a perfect place for a picture for your Instagram. Getting to the hotel from the airport is easy in part because you book your transfers while booking your reservation online. The transfers are provided by a third-party company called Caribbean Ways. We received an email confirming a round-trip transfer with our flight information, the company's phone number, and detailed instructions upon our arrival in Cancun. We were told to look for staff members wearing gray shirts with yellow details with a CW logo. But to our surprise, no one was wearing such uniforms when we exited the airport. To make things worse, our cell phones didn't have service, so we couldn't contact the company. We asked around and eventually found out that the company in charge of our transfer was called Aventur, and their staff uniform is a pink polo shirt with black pants. I bring this up with the hope of saving you a headache and a stressful start to your well-deserved vacation, but also with the hope that the companies involved sort this communication issue out so future guests don't experience the same. With that said, I was happily impressed with the service. We had paid for a short shuttle transfer and ended up in a private transfer in a beautiful SUV. The staff was friendly, polite, and the driver offered us water and drove us safely to the hotel. <laughs> so, we just got here and uh, I guess they, they welcome you with a margarita popsicle and it is so refreshing, so delicious, especially with the heat. It's pretty nice. Um, the, <clears throat> the drive from Cancun, from the, from the airport to the hotel is about 15, 20 minutes, so not long. Mm, awesome. Just so you guys know, check-ins and check-outs are pretty standard. Check-ins begin at while check-outs finish up or have to be completed by noon. With that being said, this is a tiny property. It only has 148 rooms, four pools, four restaurants, six bars, one spa, and one fitness center. But do not let that fool you because the fact that it's a small property makes it even better. For some reason, it doesn't feel crowded, and in the contrary, everything feels within arm's reach, which is awesome. It's definitely a downside to larger hotels, larger resorts, where you really have to walk 
long distances to get from your room to the pools or to the beach areas. Welcome to Rita's Taco House here at Margaritaville Riviera Cancun. This is my favorite restaurant just because their entire menu is Mexican food and I love Mexican food, but it's also one of the favorites for a lot of other guests. And as you guys are seeing right now, we're having the nachos. It's insane the way they come and they present it to you. They lift up this can and it's just this massive power of nachos and they are delicious by the way guys every time you come here no matter what you order you always get refried beans with some chips and then different salsas and a couple of lime wedges and yeah they're delicious they're spicy but they're really really good Welcome to the Beach House. This is one of the four restaurants here on property. It's actually open from 6.30 a.m. all the way to 9 p.m. if I'm not mistaken. And they serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Breakfast is buffet style breakfast. And then lunch and dinner are a la carte. And here's the menu. It's pretty extensive to be honest with you. It's uh, a couple of pages long. We've had the pleasure of eating here a couple of days now. This is actually our third day here on property. And I gotta say, our favorite starter for sure <laughs> are the nachos. We've had them every single day. The wings are pretty delicious too. And the signature dish here, which is the License to Chill burger, is delicious. The other two restaurant options are open from 5.30 to 9.30 p.m. Make reservations for both of them because they can get pretty busy due to their operating hours, as they're only open for dinner. Frank and Lola's serves Italian food, and it can be a good choice for a romantic dinner, while Latino, which you're looking at right now, combines Latin flavors with Asian spices and cooking techniques. If I had to choose one, I'd go with Latino without a doubt. Every dish was a flavor bomb. Remember that all four restaurants are included with your stay. The following morning, the Riviera Maya welcomed us with a sunrise that took my breath away. And with it, I welcomed an experience that would fill me up with energy to start my day. My first yoga class. Our first yoga class just finished here at Margaritaville, Riviera Cancun. I gotta say it was amazing. I mean, again, never been in a yoga, cla in a yoga class. Dude, it, it was amazing. Honestly, I don't know why I was the only guy here. Like there should be a lot more guys doing this yoga stuff. I was completely um, like tied up, like super tense. Yes, I'm here on vacation having fun. But obviously I'm, I'm nervous and I want to do the best content I can for you guys. But after the class, I just felt like renewed. Like, I don't know, it's just awesome. Honestly, if you're here or wherever you travel to, if there is the chance for you to do a spa session, I mean, a yoga session, go for it. It's so, so worth it. I, I, I just can't, I can't begin to explain how relaxed I feel. And by the way, it's, I think it's important to know that today 
is International Yoga Day. Because of that reason, the resort had a special activity in today's morning um, session, yoga session, where after the yoga class, they gave the participants of the class a 10 minute massage by the beach. Wow, incredible. The resort has both a spa and a fitness center. The Saint Somewhere Spa is an 8,000 square foot spa with services like hydrotherapy, herbal therapy, facials, and several massage treatments. Its signature treatment is called O Mexico, which is a spa treatment inspired by Mexican culture. Keep in mind the spa services are not included in your stay, so they do have a separate cost. Because of that, it's easy to overlook the spa, but do yourselves a favor and block some time during your vacation for a treatment. I was lucky to have had a quick demo by the beach after the yoga class, and if there's one thing I regret is not having enough time to book a full session. The FinSup Fitness Center is equipped with a variety of cardiovascular and strength training equipment, so you don't have to stop working on your fitness goals even when you're in paradise. The FinSup Fitness Center is located inside the spa. You'll find plenty of pop-up experiences during your stay at Margaritaville Riviera Cancun. Some of these include a chocolate making class, mixology classes, a silent party, and music shows to name a few. The truth is, there's always something happening throughout the resort, and the best way to stay on top of it is with the app, which you'll also have to download to connect to the resort's Wi-Fi. resort does offer a wide variety of room types like swim-up suites as you're seeing right now, presidential suites, villas, yes they actually have two villas, and your standard room like the one I'm staying in. Actually let's head to my room so you guys can see what a standard room looks like here at Margaritaville Riviera Cancun. Allow me to introduce room 612 with an island casual vibe inspired by the sea, the sand, and the sky, just like the rest of the property. The furnishings were designed with a tropical vibe and Mexican touches like the beautiful panoramic photo of Tulum's archaeological zone. Our room is on the second floor and it was equipped with everything we needed, like towels, soaps, shampoo, a hairdryer, you name it. We were very happy with the bed as it was super comfortable. It also had a cozy terrace overlooking the It's 5 o'clock somewhere bar and pool. But just so you know, every room has its own balcony or terrace with either an Adirondack chair or a day bed. You also have 24-7 room service and access to the mini bar included with your stay. But I'm not showing you the mini bar because it's not your usual mini bar. So you have to keep watching to find out why. Margaritaville Riviera Cancun is a little bit different when it comes to your mini bar because you are the one responsible for filling it in. It's really easy. Basically, you come to Joe's Merchants, Joe's Merchants, to fill up or pick up your provisions. You are awarded a certain amount of points depending on how many nights you're staying. And with those points, you get to change them up for snacks alcoholic beverages and non-alcoholic beverages to fill up your mini bar and that's exactly what we're doing right now we're gonna pick up some of those so we can enjoy your mini bar to the fullest all right guys so i think it's fair enough for us to have some downtime by the pool and the pool we're heading to is the only pool on property that's for adults only and my favorite thing about this pool besides the fact that it's adults only is the bar 
and the staff at the bar is amazing. Plus, the view is just beautiful. Check this out. One of my favorite things about all-inclusive resorts is the fact that drinks come and others go. Cheers guys. Okay, so after spending a week here at Margaritaville, Riviera, Cancun, here are my final thoughts. If you're planning a vacation with your family, with your friends, this is a pretty cool spot. They do have activities for the entire family throughout the day. There are a little bit of uh, downsides because sometimes the activities are set to start at, I don't know, 10 a.m., but for whatever reason, they don't start at the time. So it can get a little bit confusing. If you see that they're trying to do the activity like bingo or whatever, cooperate, participate. The staff can only do so much to motivate you to participate in the event. So if nobody participates, eh, you know. But the parties were pretty good. Last night we had a, a tiki party with like some fire shows and stuff like that. That was pretty cool too. And people seem to, to enjoy it. Now, if you're planning Actually, if you, even if you're, you're, you're planning a getaway with your significant other, I would recommend this hotel without a problem, unless you don't want to see kids at all, because obviously this is a family-friendly resort, not an adults-only one. So yeah, you are going to see kids. However, with the pools and the bars, you don't get to see them very, I guess, close to the bars, and every pool has its own bar. If you want to stay away from children's and like the noise and all that stuff, I would definitely advise staying over at the License to Chill pool and bar because that's the only pool that's adult, adults only pretty much. So that does give it a little bit of a different environment and, and, and ambience for you to like hang out, read a book, chat with your significant other or your friends without having to worry about kids running around or screaming or making noise or just, you know, being kids. The staff here at Margaritaville Riviera Cancun is amazing. They're willing to help whenever they can and that is awesome. And it's something that happens from the moment you step your foot inside the hotel to the moment you step out. And it is awesome. It really makes you feel like you're at home and like you're part of the family. It's impressive the amount of work they put in day in and day out to keep everybody happy. The food and the drinks are pretty good. They could be better in some instances, but overall it's, it's really good food. I guess the only complaint I would have is that they don't give you steak knives when you're eating steak or when you need to cut something. So it can be a little bit of a challenge. Um, again, when you're eating at restaurants like Latino, for example, Overall, with the drinks, they are pretty good too. There's a wide variety of cocktails and drinks that you can order from all the six different bars. The only thing I would say is that if you're anything like me, usually when I walk up to a bar, I don't know what to order just because I'm not a big drinker. So it's a little bit hard to make a decision on what you want to drink if you don't know what you're gonna drink and there's no menu or at least it's not visible. Every bar has its own menu but you do have to ask for it. Um, if you don't, they don't 
give it to you because I guess they assume that you know what you want to order. All right, guys, this is it for this video. Again, if you enjoy this vlog resort guide in this first ever episode of the new series, Destination Hotels, in my channel, hit the thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And with that, from the beautiful Riviera Maya, from this amazing property called Margaritaville Riviera Cancun, I'll see you guys in the next video.